some overnight, Antoinette, but then it just started to rain too. What a mess and difficult for these workers too who are trying to clear up everything still in the road right now. You can see they're working right in the middle of the street. There's part of a pole down there right now, and then they're working in that bucket truck just beyond. Poles need to be reset in some cases and wires restrung. Thankfully, no one was injured here. Neighbors were stuck in their own homes for much of the day yesterday. Here's what happened yesterday morning. A tractor trailer snagged a low hanging wire and it ripped down seven utility poles. Wires landed on other traffic going by, including a UPS truck and four cars. Sparks went flying. The wires were sparking when they came down, um, and so I knew I I knew I could not move because my car was completely flocked with wires. So figured that the safest option was to stay in the car and just wait for help. Workers nearby were forced to leave their cars behind overnight, and some businesses are unsure about how the workday will end up going today. Now, Eversource told News Center 5 that the wire that was snagged was a communication wire, but they weren't sure what company owned that wire and operated it. In terms of a timeline of when all of this is going to be reopened and cleared up, we don't have an exact time on that right now. We're live in Stoneham this morning. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center.